Hey, welcome back to another vlog. This is starting off super chaotic. I'm getting ready to go work at the salon and I, I don't know. I had things I needed to get done this morning before work and I didn't wake up early enough to give myself enough time. So now I am rushing. We are finally all caught up and like closer to real time now because for a while there a lot of my vlogs i was sort of like pre-recording so by the time you were seeing a video the footage was already like at least two weeks old so yeah i just released my merch today i'm so excited i told you guys in the last vlog i like did a little sneak peek today is the day that i officially launched everything so i was posting on Instagram and like updating my Instagram bio, like the link for it and all of that. I literally just finished doing that and then I had to run in here to start getting ready because I gotta leave in like 15 minutes, but it's fine. I'm just gonna do a little quick light something just to sort of pull myself together a bit. It should be a pretty chill day. I have three clients. They are all regulars. The first one is just a haircut. Second one is coming in to get her blonde refreshed. I'm doing a full foil, just bringing everything up higher. And then the last one just gets a permanent root touch up. Super easy and straightforward. So I'm looking forward to it hopefully just being like a quick smooth day. So yeah, that is the plan and I can't wait later today to check and see like what the response has been to the merch so i'll have a link in the description if you guys if you're not following me on instagram and if you missed the initial launch i am gonna get changed really quick and just brush this hair i washed and styled it yesterday so i think i'm just gonna tuck it behind my ears and call it a day and throw on a quick t-shirt dress and some sandals and be good to go because it's also super super hot today so i just want to be comfortable here is the outfit for the day this is super old i want to say it's from misguided it's so old at this point that this is completely faded you can't even see it there was like faces on it just have some bike shorts underneath here and i'm gonna wear my little adidas velcro sandals perfume obviously. Ambery Saffron from Dossier, you already know. I just opened a new bottle last week. This is probably, I don't even know, I mean at least my sixth bottle. This has been my go-to perfume for the last few years. I try other ones and I'm like, oh this is nice and I'll wear it for like a week or so, but then I always just go back to this one. It's just like, it's become my signature scent. I feel like everyone just, they smell this and they, they know it's me coming. Dossier is sponsoring a portion of this vlog. So thank you so much to them for working with me for the last few years. I mean, they've been a huge supporter of my channel and just like a consistent sponsor. Dossier makes replicas of brand name designer fragrances for a fraction of the price by cutting out celebrity marketing, retailer markups, expensive, unnecessary packaging, all that kind of stuff. You just get these nice, simple, sleek bottles. I have so many. And Dossier also makes candles and reed diffusers, which they now have a reed diffuser in this scent. I'm hoping they'll come out with a candle soon as well. I'll have a link and a discount code in the description. So definitely go check them out. If there's a fragrance that you really love, I'm always like, just go see if Dossier has the replica of it because why not? So I'm just gonna put my shoes on, grab my bag and head out of here. I will see you guys at the salon. It has just been so hot and humid. I feel like every time I get out of work, this is what I end up looking like. Just a greasy, red, raccoon-eyed mess. Guess who barely got any footage of her clients? No after pictures, <laughs> of course. And I'm the last one to leave again. But I mean, you know, that's what you get when you choose to not start early in the morning. I went in at one, so I can't complain. It's 7.45 right now, actually, which is really good. 
not bad at all but yeah I mean it was a good day it was really smooth and easy no issues the only thing is my second client because she was due for like a really full heavy head of foils and she has a lot of hair and she also has very dark hair so I had to do like really thin tiny foils a shit ton of them and then she had to sit and process for longer than usual so it took extra time for the application and then longer for the processing so I ended up running like 30 minutes behind on that so yeah I didn't have any extra time to spare to take any after pictures or anything and I just gave up on trying to get clips of like you know throughout the process sorry I did not get to share that it's been exciting though because everyone all of my regulars they usually pre-book their appointments so so everyone now has been booking out into like late july and august god willing at that point i will be in my new place so i've been booking everyone's appointments in my booking app for my suite so that's very exciting oh and my gas light just came on but yeah i am just heading home now my boyfriend in case you missed it. I think I mentioned it in the last vlog briefly, but yeah, my boyfriend is in town. He's been here since the end of May and he's planning on staying for most of the summer, which is so exciting. It's been so nice having him here just cause like, you know, being long distance sucks. So it's nice to get to be together in person, but also on the day to day, it's pretty nice. Cause like, especially on the days when I have to go to work, he helps me with the dog, which is amazing, and he makes me breakfast and lunch that I can pack and makes dinner and just, it's just been nice to just have someone to help. Hopefully he will move down here permanently in December once he is completely done with school. So we just got a few more months to go. Tonight we're gonna make chicken tacos, do a little taco Tuesday. I'm about to pull into my apartment, so I'll see you in a minute. Oh! Not very healthy, but I just have a couple. Thanks for cleaning up. Do they still need time to cook though? I don't think so. It puts our lid off for a minute, it'll be fun. Perfect. You want cheese on them, right? Yeah. Half a bag? Yeah. I'll take a tiny bit. Dinner is served. My plate. His plate. <laughs> oh, someone's excited. Back it up. Okay. the next day it's currently Wednesday it is my day off from the salon right now I'm kind of in like summer vacation mode summer hours if you will I haven't been working at the salon as much like it's just a little bit of like a slow season right now and I'm in that weird in between where I'm moving into my suite soon hopefully 
I feel like I keep talking about it and I'm even getting annoyed with myself. Like, okay, when is it finally happening? So I've been purposely not trying to book too many people also because like, honestly, I would rather just book everybody in my place because I just feel like, you know, I'll have more control of the whole experience. So especially if it's like newer clients, I'd rather them just wait and like get introduced to me in my space. It's been kind of nice though, like the last week or two and like the next couple weeks basically until I'm in the suite. It's just more chill, not working as much and just getting to enjoy the summer. So anyway, today I don't have work. I did get a little bit of like computer, social media work done this morning and now I changed into my bathing suit. We're gonna just go to the pool. Then we were talking about maybe going out to dinner later tonight. There's this Thai restaurant that we really, really love, but I will try to vlog throughout the day and I'll keep you updated. Oh, and I did my nails last night. I gave myself a gel manicure and I never do square nails, but it's just easier to do the shape on myself. I just wanted them to look fresh and clean. They were getting super grown out. And this color, hold on, let me go grab it. This is the color that I did. Kiara Sky is the brand and the color is Snow Bunny. Pretty similar to Funny Bunny by OPI, just like a sheer milky white. And I just did one coat of it, so it would be super sheer. This is the gel machine that I have. I got it on Amazon a couple years ago. I'll see if the same one is still available. I'll link it down below. Okay, pool slash beach essentials. A hat, always, always, always. Sunscreen, obviously on my face. I just started using this e.l.f. Woe Glow Sun Touchable. It adds like a little bit of a tint as well. And then obviously regular body sunscreen, especially on my chest and my hands. So I've been using this one and then a hair tie or clip or something to pull my hair back. If I'm planning on going in the water, I'll usually wet my hair and then put leave-in conditioner. I love mixing the Olaplex number no. six leave-in cream with the number no. seven oil because the oil has heat protection in it. Laying out in the sun is just as bad for your hair as like putting a flat iron on it. It's still heat damage. So especially if your hair is colored, you wanna make sure that you're protecting it. So if I am planning on like swimming and taking the hat off, I'll make sure to do something with my hair, but it's, still pretty clean so i'm gonna try to avoid getting it wet so i'm gonna just tie it back and then put my hat on and then of course sunglasses this is how i be looking when i'm laying out by the pool or the beach i feel a sneeze coming Allergies have been so bad today. It's a few hours later, got back, showered really quick, got dressed. I'm wearing that Amazon denim bodysuit that I showed you guys in the last vlog. It's just so comfy. It's that time of the month for me right now. So I'm feeling really bloated and crampy and this just feels so comfortable because it's like structured and it gives like good shape. It's flattering, but it's not like too tight on my stomach area. Oh, and I totally forgot to show you guys my tattoos because you've probably noticed like I have some new ones. I showed the neck one on my Instagram story when I got it, but I didn't show all the other ones. And I guess while we're talking about it, I have been saying for the longest time that I would do like a tattoo tour and show you guys all the ones I have, especially because I've gotten like a bunch of newer ones in the last few months. And I don't know if it like is worth doing its own separate video. So let's just do it right now because I got some time to kill before we leave for dinner. So I'll start with the new ones that I got. Um, so yeah, I got this really pretty dainty rose on the side of my neck, which I had been wanting a neck tattoo for years and years and years and years and years but I just never really knew what I wanted to get or how big I wanted it to be. I did get this here in Wilmington. I went to Danny at Queen Street Tattoos. I was just doing research on Instagram and I saw some other roses that she had did and I was like, yeah, I love her style. And then the same day that I got that, I also got this 
seashell. When I was researching, I saw this on Danny's Instagram page and I just thought it was so cute. And I was like, you know what? Let me get something to kind of commemorate living at the beach, living here in Wilmington, especially because moving down here was such a big pivotal moment in my life and I just feel like I needed something to represent my time living in Wilmington. I love the seashell and I love how she just did like the very soft light shading. Then on my inner arm, all on the same day, I got Blue Jean Baby from the Elton John song Tiny Dancer. Huge Elton John fan. I saw him live actually sort of spontaneously back when I was in high school in Venice, Italy. And it was one of the coolest moments because I was like really, really into him in high school. And then I was on a trip in high school with my French class. We were in Italy and like same day we got to Venice, we saw flyers all over that there was gonna be an Elton John concert outdoors that same night. And we didn't have tickets, but we were able to stand outside. I climbed up on a lamp pole and sat up there and I was able to see him because they had like these walls up to kind of block for people who didn't have tickets to get in. But I climbed my way up and I watched Elton John live and it was just one of the coolest moments ever. Like hands down, like when I think back to like just all of the memories of my life that stands out as one of the peak like coolest core memories so i had to get something to represent that and then i also that same day got this 718 which is the area code or it was our area code when i lived in the bronx i was born and raised there up until i was 10 and i just feel like i will always be a new yorker at heart those are all the new tattoos i got to continue moving backwards in the timeline when I was in Italy back in October I got this tattoo which I love so much I knew I wanted cherubs because I just think that they're like so beautiful and cute and when I was researching tattoo artists to go to I saw this on the artist page because my brother and I both wanted to get tattoos while we were there and I didn't really know exactly what I wanted so yeah as soon as I saw this I was like that's it that is that's the one so for me it has multiple meanings so it's like a baby devil with a baby cherub and they're hugging and the little angel is giving the devil a kiss on the cheek which is so cute so to me it's like it's like a yin and yang thing like you know we all have a little good and a little bad and it also kind of represents like i'm a gemini so you know it's a sign of the twins and i also just love how it looks so much and i love the way again with just like the very light shading between this one and the rose they're like tied for my favorite tattoos and then i also got this when i was in italy it says amor fati which means lover of fate just basically like has always been my life motto like i just always tell myself whenever i get like overwhelmed or i'm stressed overthinking i just tell myself whatever's meant to happen will happen like it will all work out everything will be fine it, it is what it is and i truly believe in like destiny and fate and all of that kind of stuff i want a really really long period of time between tattoos so I think the only other thing I got before my Italy tattoos was the one on the side of my foot. This one, it's the lines, I, I still love it. I really do, it's also one of my favorites. But it was done really thick, so at this point it's like seven years old. So, you know, it's a little bit blown out. It probably could use a touch up, but it says fuck it in a really beautiful cursive. And I just love it so much because again, it's like, it's a funny story. So I got it when I was in cosmetology school. My best friend Julia and I, the one that I do the podcast with, or I did, we're like on a hiatus right now. We met in cosmetology school and one day we were in school and we were talking about how we should get tattoos together. She was saying she really wanted to go get one. So she checked her artist's Instagram. She was like, yeah, he posts a lot if he has last minute openings, if he gets a cancellation or whatever. So she saw that that day he had a cancellation and it was gonna be right for the time like after we were done with school for the day. So she was like, come with me, let's go get tattoos together. And I didn't know what I wanted to get. So I just sort of like in the moment was like, I should just get fuck it 
it just was perfect because it was like, fuck it, like in the moment, last minute, just like, yeah, let's just go get a tattoo. But also kind of like with the Amor Fati thing, I really just believe in like, just let go, let the universe do its thing, you know, like don't over stress or overthink because like everything will just work out the way it's meant to. And again, during that time of my life, it was like a big pivotal moment where I was going through a lot of changes, making big scary decisions, moving, changing careers, ending a long relationship, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that, even though it's kind of just like a funny thing, but it actually is really meaningful to me. Before the foot one, the last thing I got was my half sleeve, which I got in 2013. Or I think we started it at like the end of 2013 and then like beginning of 2014 is when I finished it. I did this in two big sessions and then like a third small session just to add like shading detail, but yeah this is what it looks like all around it's kind of hard to show um but yeah it's just like a bunch of peony flowers basically with a woman kind of like laying in a field of the flowers and this is a painting by audrey kawasaki i can't remember the name of this specific one that like this is inspired by but I saw it I loved it I was like I knew that was it instantly because I wanted like flowers and like flowy hair and stuff so I brought the painting to my tattoo artist he sort of customized it so that it would fit properly around my arm before the half sleeve like a few months before so 2013 I got a bigger piece on the side of my calf which I got it in color. I kind of regret doing that. I wish I had just did black and gray. There's not really any meaning to it. And then the first tattoo I ever got is now sort of like hidden within my half sleeve, but it's these Roman numerals here. This I got my freshman year of college. So it was 2010, but it's Roman numerals 1378, which is act one, scene three, line 78 from Hamlet, the Shakespeare play, and the line is, to thine own self be true. And that's like super meaningful to me because, you know, it's like, stay true to yourself. And I loved the play Hamlet when I read it in high school. And Hamlet is also like the same plot and same story as The Lion King, which was my favorite movie growing up as a kid. So it just all kind of like came full circle and is really meaningful and I wanted to get it rather than just like writing because again even like with the blue jean baby thing like I don't necessarily want my tattoos to be super obvious I don't want people to see it and know immediately like what it is I want it to like just kind of be a little more private to me so I wanted to cite it that way instead I think those are all of my tattoos hopefully I'm not forgetting anything and I'd love to get more I remember I used to think when people would be like yeah I got this as a tattoo so every time I look at it I remember to like love myself like I used to think that was so corny like you need you need a physical reminder but I will say it's really cool especially now that I have some that are over 10 years old it's cool to be able to look back at them and just remember when I got it and like where I was in life and what was going on at the time and what inspired me to get it in the first place. That's really, really cool. It's really special. So, and I especially like the ones I got with my brother in Italy. Like, I, I mean, they're so special to me. Anyway, we're gonna head to dinner now. Let me put a tiny bit of under eye concealer. Blush and a little brow gel. Cheers. Oh, yes. Gorgeous. It's way pretty. Good morning. It is Friday. Did I vlog anything yesterday? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't because yesterday I was home all day 
with period cramps. But now I'm about to head to the salon. I have two clients today and one of them is getting a full color and cut but the other one is just getting a conditioning treatment and a blowout. Most of the hair girls have a wedding so it should be pretty empty in the hair room. So that'll be kind of nice because that I just prefer to work in like a quieter, more peaceful environment. And both my clients today are new so I especially with newer clients I like to be able to like take my time hear them talk to them get to know them a little bit um, especially obviously during the consultation part it's tricky when I have a new client on a day when it's super packed in the hair room because it's just so loud and I can't really hear and it's overstimulating and it's just it's just a lot going on. I'm gonna go now, so I'll see you at the salon. come to you from a red light. Oh, that just turned green. I just left the salon. My clients were both so nice and it's just so great when you just like naturally click with your clients, like the conversation flows really naturally. By the way, Jessica, if you're watching, thank you for coming in. It was so nice to meet you. She said that she has been watching my videos for a while. So that's always really cool too when I get to meet people that follow me online. My boyfriend is making me some lunch as we speak, which is so sweet. I just called him when I left the sun and I was like, I haven't eaten anything yet and I'm starving. So yeah, I'm just gonna hang out with him the rest of the night. And then this weekend, I'm going to Charlotte to help my friend Haley move. So it's about to be a busy weekend. So I am gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you aren't already following me on Instagram, I would really appreciate if you'd go give me a follow. But yeah, other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.